Jerry, Jerry told me, he Bill, we put a little sample in the garage. We used to do a lot of runner sharpening and drinking beer in his garage. <laughs> Especially with the runner sharpers. <laughs> <laughs> with them old cast iron runners. I told him you could explain the 250 film probably. Right, I didn't want to run the But that's built in 1931, if you want to know. Uh, I like the way it says what powered by and it's, he's got the wind. Yeah. When did they, when did they refurb that? They just refurbed uh, it. The last year so three long. years they was working on it. Yeah. Stribney put a lot of work in the jackets and uh, a bunch of guys was going down there helping them all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think they end up drinking more beer than they do working sometimes. Right. And with the 15 meters, when were the 15 meters were designed? Is that uh, back in the 20s? That the original 15 meters were designed. Yeah, because I told I think my built boat was uh, built in. Uh, I think it was built in the 30s, but I think they designed it in 30 uh, 30s or late 20s. But, oh. So you're okay. saying the early 30s, late 20s, for the. I'm thinking that this boat was built in 39. Okay. Okay. 1939 belongs to Jason Hall. Right. Formerly owned by Jerry Krause, and I think before that it was Bernie, uh, or Bert, what was his name? I can't remember which. Huh? No. I can't think of Jason. Yeah. And then the next boat over here is a DN, which I happen to build this one design with a design contest from the Detroit News back in the uh, late 30s, <laughs> early, early 40s. Right, a lot of people don't know that DN stands for Detroit News. And what's this up here? Is this a mini DN? It's an ice optimist. They put an optimist pram rig on a similar to a DN hull, and it's designed to teach uh, kids 8 to 15 how to sail. So they take the uh, Optimus rig that the various sailing clubs have for their uh, Optimus dinghy programs in the summer. They use those same rigs and put them on an ice boat and uh, sail in the uh, wintertime. So what have we got over here to the right? Well, the next boat over is an older DN. It was built in the 70s. And you can see the difference in the uh, style of hall compared to the red DN that we previously showed. So what's the difference in, uh, are they both made of the same material? Uh, the, the, yes, they're made out of Sitka spruce, both of them. Um, the newer style has a uh, shaped uh, runner plank. I told him the older style was just a three piece with the runner plank glued together in, into, a, into an arc. And the, the newer DNs, the spars rake back long, further. The sails are more aerodynamic. Um, they've taken the DN from being able to go, uh, you know, 15, 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour, to to being able to do uh, 55, 60, 65, 70 miles an hour. 36, 44, this one here, this one can go 50 miles an hour? No, that one will probably, the, the, it's an older one, it'll probably be 20, 25. 25. It'll be a heavier boat. As technology goes, it's, you know, the older boats are heavier, and the newer ones using um, different building techniques and, and uh, 
different glues. They're, they're more, they're a lighter boat. It's a more aerodynamic. Are they going to nano carbons yet? We're not in the nano carbons yet. But soon to come, I'm sure. So what do we have here? Uh, this is a Renegade. Um, these were designed back in the 40s, I believe, by a man, uh, Elmer Mellenbach. Mellenbach? Mellenbach out of uh, Mount Clemens, Michigan. Mm, okay. And he actually uh, took his first boat and uh, showed up at a, a Skeeter regatta and beat the Skeeters of the day with his, with his new uh, fast design renegade. The Vinia May. That's a, it looks to be a two seat Skeeter. They were probably, uh, I'm not sure where they were designed. Um, there's a lot of them I know out in Wisconsin. Um, this particular one has a Cass Lake, a CL sail on it, so it's Cass Lake, Michigan. Mm. Well, this looks nice and comfortable. Oh, yeah. And they were designed to, you know, put two people, or side-by-side -side skeeter. There's a lot of them that are, they don't build them anymore, but they refurbish them. And they still race them. That's why it's so much fun. It's, oh, yeah. it's not on the original. How many boats do they have up there? I think they had about, I think there was like 23. So uh, we had a little, little accident the first day, so I finished dead last first day of racing. And then fixed the bent runner in Jim Nordhaus's shop. Shimmed it and straightened it out. 53 old boat. <laughs> and we're back to Don. Don Williams, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Good. Talk to you later.